Hello everyone, welcome back to Steady Mission's computer science series and today we're going to talk about data storage and file compression. First, let's talk about the measurement of data storage. A bit is the basic unit of all computing memory, storage terms and is either 1 or 0. The word comes from binary digit, the B from binary and the IT from digit. The byte is the smallest unit of memory in a computer. One byte is 8 bits. A 4-bit number is called a nibble, half a byte. One byte of memory wouldn't allow you to store very much information, so memory size is measured in the multiples as shown in this table. This system of numbering now only refers to some storage devices, but is technically inaccurate. It is based on the SI base 10 system of units, where 1 kilo is equals to 1000. A 1 terabyte hard disk drive would allow the storage of 1 exponent 12 bytes according to this system. However, since memory size is actually measured in terms of powers of 2, another system has been adopted by the IEC, International Electrotechnical Commission, that is based on the binary system, as shown in this table. This system is more accurate. Internal memory such as RAM and ROM should be measured using the IEC system. A 64GB RAM could therefore store 64 2 to the power of 30 bytes of data, which is 68719476736 bytes in total. Now let's talk about the calculation of file size. Now we will look at the calculation of the file size required to hold a bitmap image and a sound sample. The file size of an image is calculated as image resolution in pixels multiplied by color depth in bits. The size of a mono sound file is calculated as sample weight in hertz multiplied by sample resolution in bits multiplied by length of sample in seconds. For a stereo sound file, you would then multiply the result by 2. Now let's do some examples. This is example number 1, which says a photograph is 1024 by 1080 pixels and uses a color depth of 32 bits. How many photographs of this size would fit onto a memory stick of 64 gigabytes? First, we're going to multiply the number of pixels in vertical and horizontal directions to find the total number of pixels. This would be 1024 into 1080, which would give us the answer 110590 pixels. Now we're going to multiply the number of pixels by color depth, which is 1105920 into 32, which would give us the answer 35389440. Now we would divide this by 8 to give the number of bytes. Dividing this by 8 would result in the answer 4423680 bytes. Now we'd have to convert the memory stick size, which is 64 gigabytes, into bytes. In order to do that, we would multiply the 64 by 2 to the power 30, which, was, which will result in 68719476736 bytes. Now we would finally divide the memory stick size with a file size. 68719476736 will be divided by 4423680, which would give us the answer 15534. This is the number of photos. Now, this is another example. It says an audio CD has a sample rate of 44100 and a sample resolution of 16 bits. The music being sampled uses two channels to allow for its stereo recording. Calculate the file size for a 60 minute recording. We know the formula of calculating the size of a mono sound file is sample rate in hertz multiplied by sample resolution in bits multiplied by the length of sample in seconds. In the question, 44100 is the sample rate in hertz. We multiply that by the sample resolution, which is 16 bits. And then we multiply the length of sample. It says in the question that the length of sample is 60 minutes. But we need to convert that in seconds, and, and, and in order to do that, we would multiply 60 by 60. And thus, our answer would be 25401600000 bits. Now, since this is a stereo recording, we would multiply the result by 2. 
also it, it says it uses two channels so we know that we need to multiply that by two multiplying by two gives us the answer five zero eight zero three two zero 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 bits now we need to convert this bits into bytes so we divide this by eight and we will get the answer six three five zero four zero 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 now in order to convert this to megabytes we we're going to divide this by 2 to the power 20, which would give us an approximated value of 605 megabytes. Now let's talk about data compression. The calculations we just did shows that sound and image files can be very large. It is therefore necessary to reduce or compress the size of a file for the following reasons. To save storage space on devices such as the hard disk drive, solid state drive, to reduce the time taken to stream a music or radio file, to reduce the time taken to upload, download, or transfer a file across a network. The download upload process uses up network bandwidth. This is a maximum rate of transfer of data across a network, measured in bits per second. This occurs whenever a file is downloaded, for example, from a server. Compressed files contain fewer bits of data than uncompressed files and therefore uses less bandwidth which results in a faster data transfer rate. Reduced file size also reduces costs. For example, when using cloud storage, the cost is based on the size of the file stored. Also, an internet server provider, ISP, may charge a user based on the amount of data downloaded. Let's talk about lossy and lossless file compression. File compression can either be lossless or lossy. First, we're going to talk about the lossy file compression. With this technique, the file compression algorithm eliminates unnecessary data from the file. This means that original file cannot be reconstructed once it has been compressed. Lossy file compression results in some loss of detail when compared to the original file. As the name suggests, it loses fi the file quality. The algorithms used in the lossy technique have to decide which parts of the file need to be retained and which parts can be discarded. For example, when applying a lossy file compression algorithm to an image, it may reduce the resolution and or the bit color depth. A sound file, it may reduce the sampling rate and or the resolution. Lossy files are smaller than lossless file, which is of great benefit when considering storage and data transfer rate requirements. Common lossy file compression algorithms are MPEG-3, MP3, and MPEG-4, MP4, and JPEG. MPEG-3, MP3, and MPEG-4, MP4. MP3 files are used for playing music on computers or mobile phones. This compression technology will reduce the size of a normal music file by about 90%. While MP3 music files can never match the sound quality found on a DVD or CD, the quality is satisfactory for most general purposes. But how can the original music file be reduced by 90% while still retaining most of the music quality? Essentially, the algorithm removes sounds that the human ear cannot hear properly. For example, removal of sounds outside the human ear range. If two sounds are played at the same time, only the louder one can be heard by the ear, so the softer sound is eliminated. This is called perceptual music shaping. MP4 files are slightly different to MP3 files. This format allows the storage of multimedia files rather than just sound, music, videos, Photos and animation can all be stored in the MP4 format. As with MP3, this is a lossy file compression format, but it still retains an acceptable quality of sound and video. Movies, for example, could be streamed over the internet using the MP4 format without losing any real quality. JPEG When a camera takes a photograph, it produces a raw bitmap file, which can be very large in size. These files are temporary in nature. JPEG is a lossy file compression algorithm used for bitmap images. As with MP3, once the image is subjected to the JPEG compression algorithm, a new file is formed and the original file can no longer be constructed. The JPEG file reduction process is based on two key concepts. Human eyes don't detect differences in color shades quite as well as they detect differences in image brightness. The eye is less sensitive to color variations than it is to variations in brightness. By separating pixel color from brightness, images can be split into 8x8 eight eight pixel blocks, for example, which then allows certain information to be discarded from the image without causing any real noticeable deterioration in quality. Now let's talk about lossless file compression. 
With this technique, all the data from the original uncompressed file can be reconstructed. This is particularly important for files where any loss of data would be disastrous. Example, when transferring a large and complex spreadsheet or when downloading a large computer application. Lossless file compression is designed so that none of the original detail from the file is lost. As the name suggests, it does not lose any quality. It's lossless. Run length encoding, RLE, can be used for lossless compression of a number of different file formats. It is a form of lossless reversible file compression. It reduces the size of a string of adjacent identical data, example repeated colors in an image. A repeating string is encoded into two values. The first value represents the number of identical data items, example characters in the run. The second value represents the code of the data item, such as ASCII code, if it is a keyboard character. RLE is only effective where there is a long run of repeated units or bits. Using RLE on text data. Consider the following text string. Assuming each character requires one byte, then this string needs 16 bytes. If we assume ASCII code is being used, then this string can be coded as follows. This means we have 5 characters with ASCII code 97, 4 characters with ASCII code 98, 2 characters with ASCII code 99, and 5 characters with ASCII code 100. Assuming each number in the second row requires 1 byte of memory, the RLE code will need 8 bytes. This is half the original file size. One issue occurs with a string such as this, where RLE compression isn't very effective. To cope with this, we use a flag. A flag preceding data indicates that what follows are the number of repeating units. For example, 255-0597, where 255 is a flag, and the other two numbers indicate that there are five items with ASCII code 97. When a flag is not used, the next bytes are taken with their face value and a run of 1. For example, 0199 means one character with ASCII code 99 follows. Consider this example. The original string contains 32 characters and would occupy 32 bytes of storage. The coded version contains 18 values and would require 18 bytes of storage. Introducing a flag, 255 in this case, produces this. This is 15 values and would therefore require 15 bytes of storage. This is a reduction in file size of about 53% when compared to the original string. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Study Mation Animated Educational Videos.